Uh, hi all, uh, what I'm going to be showing off today is how to farm out the corrosive and electricity resistance augments. Uh, now the corrosive augment at max rank applies a 35% resistance to corrosive attack damage, so the spit, and applies 80% uh, chance of attaining the spit's corrosive damage effect. Uh, uh, not incredibly useful, and you'll likely just pick up this augment through a few game playthroughs, so farming it out is probably not really necessary. Um, the electricity resistance augment, however, at max rank applies a 45% uh, resistance to the electrical attack damage, a 50% chance of uh, not attaining the electrified status effect when they hit you, and applies the immunity to flashbang attacks, which is probably its main draw card for a lot of newer players uh, who haven't quite learn uh, that if you just turn your back as you see them you are uh, charging up that flashbang then you would avoid that attack entirely but that does require a little bit more awareness of what's happening which can be difficult in a game where the diners are flying at you all of the time as for strategies on what to do extraction farming on insane is probably your best uh, bet as you can continue to fight the dinos for an endless amount of time as for hero choices, uh, you would definitely want to go with Rosie as you just have access to unlimited ammo, unlimited health, and just all around just easy to play and not die. Now for whatever you would like to pick, I would definitely for extraction farming have Wrath Burst, Adrenaline Response, and whatever you want. I'll take Electricity Resistance just to show that off. Shot Grenade, you're not going to need the equipment drop, so I'd always take mines. I'm a partial to the hand cannon these days, and so the hand cannon is what I would take. And then rocket launcher, auto loader, uninterruptible. Um, I'll be back in a moment to show you how to do that. Uh, acid raptors have a high chance of spawning at most extraction points. However, I do find that the uh, over many hours I've found that Voltus Bay extraction has the most amount of um, acid raptors spawn in at them. As for the Electros, they spawn in high numbers in Alton Valley Extraction, or you can also find them large numbers at the Hollows, so that's what I'm at now. There's a lot of yellow zones at the moment, so if Hollows are very good. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing uh, Extraction Farming at Voltus, as it's very straightforward. However, I'll quickly just show you what you would do for farming the Hollow out. So I've already cleared out uh, the Hollow, the first set that come in the first wave I guess that comes at you which start as soon as you see the hollow you get the next wave of dinos that will keep coming at you uh, when you place all of the uh, bombs on the pillars but until that point you can just yeah, do whatever as long as you don't leave they start coming in at the second lot and then they'll spawn properly now and you'll get a larger collection of um, acids, not acids, electrics, if I can find that. So I'll just, uh, yeah. So what you would essentially do is just fight all of them as you go. You've got your Wrath Burst, you're never going to, uh, you're never going to die, that's for sure. You can just use your Wrath Burst to kill them if you really want it. And then as you clear them out, more will spawn. As you can see, already electricity resistance has been, what, two seconds. And so they mostly spawn out of that side and this side at this hollow. Uh, but at the other hollows, they do spawn in different sides. Bang, there's another one, two. No. So that's the whole process. And then you've got enough little, you've got a few couple of ammo kits. They stop spawning after a little bit, and sometimes they'll spawn better than this. this has been a pretty average example, but I've picked up two electricity resistances in two seconds. So if it was one you were after, then this might be the method for you. But yeah, I'll uh, just show the extraction farming. Alright, so extraction farming is just the process of uh, extracting and not jumping into your dropship. You can stay here until the game crashes basically, there's no length of time 
until it stops working or Dino stops spawning. Um, yeah, that's basically it for extraction farming. It's a very straightforward process. You've got, if you're playing as Rosie, you've got unlimited ammo that'll be there, and as Rosie, you'll have unlimited health at the best of times. All the worst of times. Like, if you were actually trying to die, she's very hard to die on. Um, and then, yeah, the reason you would take this spot is because the Electros spawn is t uh, in large numbers just over here and there, and they also spawn at this. Well, they spawn everywhere, but they have a much higher chance of spawning at this extraction, for whatever reason. And if you want your um, acids, your acids will spawn as well a little bit. It'd be lovely to uh, pick up a corrosion resistance as well. Thing, cause it's a, a guide on both of them. But yeah, you will then spend all your time just getting knocked down, getting back up again. Nobody can keep Rosie down, all that fun stuff. Uh, this coincidentally is also a very good spot for farming out the deflection and the um, uh, deflection and crowd control burst. As if you are after all of them, this is a perfect spot to be as you'll get the bull spawns, as well as getting your electricity spawns, and your, uh, no, your acid ones. So this was a spot I spent a lot of time farming when they first came out, just to quickly gather all of the organs to know what they all did. But yeah, that's basically it. Now, once the dropship's here, you hang out as long as you wish. Whether that's five minutes, ten minutes, an hour, I probably wouldn't recommend staying in the game longer than an hour, usually after a half hour, and then you might be bored anyway. So if you had a, a friend who was also looking for augments, they could be doing the, uh, going after the coagulants whilst you spent time extraction farming, as you both only have to be here up until the dropship shows up. Yeah. Uh, good luck with your uh, hunt for the electricity augments. Hour the corrosive one if that's really what you're after. But as always, happy dino hunting.